Alright, it is the time that we have all been waiting for. In the last video, we reacted to some of the new features of FL Studio 21.2, but now it's time to put that into practice and dive on into FL Studio. Alright, so first of all, going to imageline.com and hitting FL Cloud because I need to see plans and actually buy it. I saw this for a second and I got real worried, but that's alright. So it looks like after the initial release price, next year it should be actually $80. And then from that point on, you'll start over here, go to the cloud over there, and then hit sign in. Interesting. So we've already got some uh, creators over here that you guys might recognize, and we can get a bit of a preview right here as well. Oh, it's a full song. Okay, I was not clicking that. That's sick. I like that a lot. Definitely feels like an older like Eminem type of track. For sure. Wow, you get all the stems from what we just heard right now in that song. That's crazy. From a kick drum right there to a little guitar. That's so sick. A one shot even. So do I have any sort of limitation that I have here? Or can I just hit download all? Is that possible? Do I just have to go over here and hit plus on every single one? There's no way, right? There's like a download all somewhere, right? You wouldn't make me do that, right? There's no way. It doesn't feel right, man. I'm sorry if I'm complaining through all this. It's just like there should definitely be, like if you're selling a pack, you should be able to download the entire pack, right? <laughs> but one thing is pretty cool about having a strip inside of your DAW, right? So I'm gonna hit play right here. And then in the bottom, we can actually change the key to something different. So we'll do like E and it will change in real time sync to the BPMs so if I go to like 150. Definitely changes. So that's all well and cool. I went down to 72 BPM over here and now I can just, yeah, just grab it and then put it onto here. That, that, that's, that is pretty cool. And it's immediately time synced. Very nice. For testing out sounds and how easily it's time synced over here, that's really good. Let's go down. Oh. That's really nice. Now let's find something in this pack that we can also use. And now it's synced up with that too. Oh, that's so nice. Dragging it over. And it's that easy. It's just that simple. Wow, crazy stuff, man, crazy stuff. So this is gonna be the first one where we have a one shot, just a straight up kick. Put that over there and then we'll try and build out a little bit of a kick pattern, I guess. And then over here, make a small little change. I'm cool with that. Go ahead and cut you off right there. Make unique. Mm, beautiful. I mean, honestly, that's all that you really need to have, right? No, we need a bass, duh. I want to really just do nothing in this beat. <laughs> Instrument, bass, done. Okay, cool. It's already an A minor, but I don't know if it'll fit. Let's find out. It's not bad, it's not bad. Th this might be the one right here. Oh my god. First thing I want to do now is master it, and I forget how to do that. Okay, there it is. Very simple, going to the file over here, going down to exports, but instead going on down to master right there and see what happens. So all this is pretty normal stuff over here. Now that we're on mastering, we can do, we'll go with YouTube. That makes the most sense. That's what you guys will be hearing this track. This is kind of cool to see all the different um, luffs needed for certain platforms. We'll go YouTube, that's fine. Is lo-fi in here? I think I'll just do hip hop, right? Makes the most sense. Now, the one thing that I am glad to see is that we are going to be able to, um, see and hear and preview the master can flip back and forth that's nice so we can a and b comparison it now see like 
it's not DB matched. So this whole, this isn't really gonna do anything for you by A, B in comparison. It's gonna be, your ear's gonna be tricked by the massive difference in volume. And I'm changing the loudness to minus nine. See what happens there too. Wow, that is a very big difference. <laughs> Okay, great. Hitting select there. I did like the uh, hip hop one more. And now we're going to export the unmastered version as well. Now they've got the mastered and unmastered version over here. 72 BPM, going to new, grabbing them both and putting them into our timeline. Now, so we don't get any difference in volumes and we can only see what the mastering did. We can go over here and hit normalize and now they'll be at the same DB, but definitely not the same loudness level. And we'll be cutting it up at every couple of bars over here. <laughs> Big difference. Okay, so I can definitely hear a big difference there. Actually, not a whole lot of uh, change going on in the wave file over here, but you can definitely hear that the, there's more going on than just the loudness perception. The master version does sound more clear and uh, has more clarity behind it. That's the same thing. The presence, I meant to say, uh, is definitely a lot greater on the mastered version, where the unmastered version can sound a little bit more muddy and uh, muffled. But here is one more thing that I want to go and try before we leave this track in the dust. So if you can't find the feature, it's going to be over in the, um, the little corner over here and then extract stems from sample. Yes. So I want the drums, bass, we don't have any vocals. Very simple process over here. It's not gonna, there's not a whole lot of uh, flexibility for it. It's just, you're gonna get what you're gonna get. Okay, there we go. And let's see what actually everything sounds like. The bass sounds clean. Completely clean. Even with the drums, man. I don't hear anything. Wow. Very clean. <laughs> And that's amazing. That's really cool. All right, we are now going to a different track over here. I think it's time to go over here and go get the brand new Kepler VST. I want right, to put down some chord progressions over here. Perfect. Okay. All right, the arpeggiator on. Go down an octave. Oh my gosh. I know it's to filter, but it's so cool because you can definitely automate that, right? Like, that's going to be super easy. Turn this into a wave, which I never freaking do. So sick. So nice. Change up the envelope too. Chorus. Oh. Yeah, I need to do a lot more testing with this one. And maybe we can go and find something inside of Cloud over here that can help us out with the uh, melody or something like that. I'm real curious about their, uh, their drums and everything. Immediately yes on this one. Sounds like something straight out of like Halloween, which I mean, is this video going up on Halloween? Oh, riser. I need a riser. Please tell me you guys got risers in here, man. That'd be so dope. They got it. Oh, it's so sick in real time editing too. Ooh, normally I don't have to go that crazy with risers, but this is just so much fun. Yeah, moving on. Okay. I'm curious about something. I'm real curious about this. Um... <laughs> 
okay, this is going to be fun. Uh, okay, we're going to go over to extract stems, including vocals this time, and see what happens. All right, so doing this example right here and this exercise might give me a copyright strike on this video, so just like it for me, please. Here are the drums. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is going to be such an amazing way for people to learn like how to program drums and everything. Like just look at what people are doing. Like you can just export their exact patterns now and study it precisely. I won't condone stealing people's stuff, but for studying purposes, absolutely. Barely hit the drums. All right, now let's hear from good old Breaking Benjamin himself. That's not his name. Crowding streets are cleared away, one by one. Hollow heroes separate as they run. You're so cold, keep your hand in mine. Wise men wonder while strong men die. It's, I love it. I actually have goosebumps right now from that. Oh, I love that song so much. Like, if you're just listening to this right now and you're like, Maybe a little skeptical if that was not perfect. Listening to this right here. Wise man, wise. You've got more than enough room taking out that bass and drums to add your own stuff in here and sample it in any way that you please. Create covers. It's some wild stuff, man. This is like, and this is not even part of the FL Cloud. This is just available for everyone to use, I believe. So that is just mind blowingly awesome. Just wow. Kind of sick, actually. Hang on, let's get to like a slower part, maybe. It feels more like a build-up sort of deal. Yeah. You're so cold, but you feel alive. Lay your hand on me one last Is it possible to get turned on by sound? <laughs> There's one more thing that I have to do before we get out of here. This is actually a request from a viewer from the last video. I want to find out about DistroKid. So somebody asked me if you um, have to pay extra on top of the FL Cloud for distribution with DistroKid, but I don't think so. Distribution via DistroKid, okay. So it says right here, your FL Cloud subscription provides unlimited distribution powered by DistroKid. And you can connect your account to DistroKid to start releasing tracks. So it looks like there's going to be no extra price on top of paying for FL Cloud. Now, how it integrates with connecting your account that you already have via DistroKid, I don't know. I don't release music, so I can't really say how that process goes. But you can definitely connect your account and on top of if you are looking to release music, this is a great way to get started. Okay, and that's all that I'm going to have for here today. I'm going to keep on messing around with this Breaking Benjamin track, man. So what do we think of all the new features that come with the one new update in general, but then also the FL Cloud? We'll start with the sound library, okay? It doesn't look like you've got any real limitations to how many samples you can download, and a large variety of stuff here from different genres like trap to lo-fi to EDM, classical, and a lot of different instruments in here as well, like bass, synths, keys, guitars, and the drums in there are actually really sick too. So as far as the selection goes, Phenomenal, really, really good. And the fact that it's already integrated inside of FL Studio and you can sync it to your current project with the key and BPM, you're virtually limitless here on what you can really do inside of here. All right, now moving on over to the mastering. Um, It's better than I thought that it would be. It's still not as good as I was hoping for. You know, if I slap on Lander Mastering onto my master track over here, then I can tweak things in real time as it's happening. So as far as that, the actual downloading of the FL Cloud sounds, um, very unintuitive. Uh, I'll be honest, but still very useful and who knows it might actually make some upgrades to it in the future and change some things up. The two things I would like to see are a download all button for a pack and then also the ability to tweak the mix in real time while you're mastering. You add those two things and I've got zero complaints. And now for the stem separation, phenomenal. Honestly, it might be my own favorite thing in this entire entire update so far. Like for one, it's going to make sampling a breeze where you can just separate the, uh, the different tracks from drums and bass and everything, but also for studying. Like this is going to be an amazing tool for people trying to learn how to program drums, how to arrange out a track and to play that 
it's your own production. Okay, and that, I love this one for last uh, because for me, it's not the most exciting thing is going to be the new Kepler VST. I got a lot of VSTs that I like already. Um, I don't really see myself changing to it uh, from the other things I'm already using. But once again, it's for the producer edition and up. So everyone gets that um, chance to use it basically. And yeah, I won't say no to another VST. That's fine with me. All right, so those are going to be my thoughts on the FL Studio 21.2 updates and FL Cloud. Did I miss anything? Is there anything else you guys would like to know about? Go more in depth with, let me know down below and I could make a separate video addressing those different comments and concerns.